The body's health depends on cellular health, and cellular health depends in large part on the cell's ability to manage multiple functions in an orderly way. Within the crowded interior of every cell, different molecules perform a wide variety of tasks. Healthy cells partition such molecules or, when appropriate, encourage them to merge. Recent work has shed light on one key mechanism whereby this is accomplished, phase separation, where liquid droplets of RNA and protein condense within living cells. You might be familiar with a phase diagram of water, which shows how different combinations of temperature and pressure bring about different phases, solid, liquid, or gas. Something similar occurs within living cells, but until recently, the ability to quantitatively study these processes has been limited. The Brangwin Lab at Princeton University has developed two new technologies, which allow phase mapping in living cells and reveal some striking and unexpected behavior of intracellular condensates. The first technology is called correlates, light-sensitive proteins engineered at the Brangwin Lab to help researchers study the mechanics of phase separation. Let's look at the structure of correlates themselves. The two proteins that comprise correlates are the core protein and the IDR protein. These proteins, when left alone, float around separately because attractive forces between them are too weak for them to bind. However, when a light is shined on them, the IDR proteins bind onto the core particle, becoming a correlate assembly, which then phase separates into a droplet, composed of many such assemblies. Within a cell, there is a fixed amount of proteins. When you shine the light everywhere, the IDR proteins are activated and become strongly attracted to any core protein nearby. However, when you shine the light locally, there will be more IDR proteins available in that locale for each core. As a result, the researchers showed that local phase separation can occur even at very low concentrations. So far, we have shown that we can form condensed droplets everywhere. So how might phase separation be locally controlled? Can droplets be formed at specific parts of a cell, say a gene, which is hard to locate and identify? To answer this question, Brangwin and his team developed a second protein system called Castrop, which allowed them to produce droplets that are both responsive to light and able to target specific locations of the genome. If various gene locations are targeted, multiple droplets are formed in different locations. These droplets can merge, which causes the chromatin on which they were formed to change shape. The importance of this research lies in the fact that as the body ages, the ability of cells to control phase separation is compromised, and the cell struggles to maintain its intracellular order. Molecules that normally exhibit liquid-like behaviors can potentially provoke disease when changed to a more solid state. The new tools developed at Princeton show great promise for both generating new insights about phase separation in living cells and for controlling phase behavior underlying devastating human diseases.